Hey Fools, Taylor Muckerman here. Today I'm talking with Fool contributor John Licata. And John, you want to talk a little bit about Tesla and Solar City and the problems that you think they might have with the Elon Musk having the dual role between both companies. Yeah, I think it's something that we don't really hear much about, Taylor, for one reason or another. I mean, that dual role, uh, role of, of chairman and, and CEO is something that a lot of Wall Street shareholders have been bringing to the attention to the likes of JP Morgan and Disney, but for some reason, that, that criticism has certainly eluded Tesla. And I certainly think that, you know, there's a lot of questions regarding the focus of this company and perhaps uh, Elon Musk fighting off a little bit more than he can chew, being involved in, in so many uh, different projects and most recently, you know, paying a million dollars for a submarine that he's trying to, to make a, an, electric, an electric submarine. I, you know, I, I was uh, on, on The Fool about a week ago saying that I thought that move had sink shares of Tesla. And Tesla shares have been down over 25 percent. To me, I think there's actually a better a better value for full investors to actually look at maybe a, a cousin, if you will, of, of Tesla, and that's Solar City. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is another thing. Uh, this is another company that's been uh, under pressure with, with earnings this week. But I think if you had to take a look at some of the uh, the the uh, the hands-on uh, imprint of, of Elon Musk and whether it's Tesla or Solar City. I just think that Solar City has better upside, the potential to get involved in in in, in more of a residential market, which has been going bang, gangbusters, uh, a chance to really build a presence in New York and, and Massachusetts. I just think there's a lot happening. I think that there, you know, potential for uh, Zep Solar is a company that they recently that they're going to be closing the acquisition of, I just think that's going to give them a lot more opportunities to tap into a solar market that can be more efficient. So for that reason, I just think that I would prefer to be in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a sector that I think a lot more people can be, can be involved with, and that's the residential solar market. So I think if, if we're looking at comparing uh, Musk's touch on two companies, I just would be out of Tesla and into Solar City. I tend to agree. You talk about the time necessary to run a company versus be a chairman of a company. Uh, considerably different. And with all of his other interests, with SpaceX, you have the Hyperloop now. I wasn't even aware of the Absolutely. submarine topic, um, but that's just uh, astounding. James he's Bond. To, yeah, he's just got his hands a little bit everywhere. And he had an interview with Stanford School of Business not too long ago talking about the time constraints on his life from all these different avenues. So with the company that needs such a hands-on approach as growth-oriented as Tesla is, I think you hit the nail right on the head. Oh, thanks. And you know, I guess I'd, I'd just like to add, you know, Tesla right now is actually going to start to face more co competition from competitors. And I believe just, uh, just this morning, Nissan mentioned that they were going to unveil at the Tokyo Auto Show a high-end version of an electric vehicle. So I think there's a lot more competition coming Tesla's way, there are problems with supply related to the lithium-ion battery too, which uh, which is starting to get highlighted more and more. And at this moment in time, you know, you got to look at Solar City saying they, you know, right now they're 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 really uh, the kings of their own castle. They don't have too much competition. It would be a negative if more companies emulate their business model, but right now they're way in front. I think that step bodes well for them. Yeah, I agree. So basically, what you're saying is Solar City's got a bright future. Uh, Tesla maybe have a little bit of constraints on its CEO. Straight from John Licata with Blue Phoenix Inc. and full contributor, I'm Taylor Muckerman. Thank you very much.